Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for ASBr3. This is arsenic tribromide. So we'll start out with a valid Lewis structure. Here's our Lewis structure for ASBr3. And we're going to count the number of things bonded to this central arsenic atom. We have one, two, three bromine atoms, and then we have this lone pair of electrons here. So we have four things. That means our steric number is four. And we have one lone pair here. So since we have one lone pair, we go down and over, and we have trigonal pyramidal is our molecular geometry for ASBr3. The ideal bond angle would be 109.5, although I would expect it to be less because of this lone pair here, which is more repulsive than these atoms. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So the central atom here, the purple, that's the arsenic, and we're going to add three bromine atoms, one, two, three, and you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Then we need to add that lone pair, though. Put the lone pair there, and you can see it pushes everything down. We have what's called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. Bond angle, again, probably going to be less than 109.5, probably a good bit less than 109.5 because of the lone pair here. Back to our Lewis structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the geometry here for ASBr3. So A, that's the central atom, that's the arsenic. X, that's the number of atoms bonded. We have the one, two, three bromine atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs. We only have the one lone pair here. So we have AX3E, and that, if you look it up, trigonal pyramidal. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for ASBr3. Thanks for watching.